We got the final episode of Invincible Breakdown from I'm Kevin. I've been doing all the other ones, so we gonna finish it up. Let's get right to it. The fact that this is the final episode, I got no clue what I'm finna watch now. Even though that three month break was kind of crazy, they came back with straight heat. But anyways, let's get into the season finale of the break was crazy. I, I don't like the break. It makes it feel like we didn't even get that much Invincible this season, but. Yeah, we gotta wait another year. Alright, so this immediately kicks off with Omni Man oh, going. Damn, J. Cole apologizing, Invincible over. My heart just got broke this week, bro. Going on a rampage. I don't know the reason why he's randomly clashing out, but hey, I'm all for it. Then four more came through, and I guess they didn't get the memo that guns do not work on this man. One ended up hitting him with a special beam cannon, but who was that gonna fool? We all know that wasn't gonna work. This uppercut, uppercut. came from the bowels of the earth and i guarantee the punch itself eviscerated this man's brain but just to add insult to injury he got turned into a five-piece combo quickly clean the area and my boy right here is in complete shock the only thing on his mind is regret for clocking in tonight he grabbed his neck and i kid you not he literally said do you know who you fucking with but then the damn Facts. final boss pulled up and now omni man's getting straight up pummeled bro lose the goons close the door and let's see if you really that tough nigga let's have a fair yeah, shoot me the fair, nigga. That nigga with the eye thing, he that, he, he that boy. Steady stay. He think he tough because he steady stay, keeping him a few guards. Three vulture mites versus, versus Omni-Man. You think you hard, nigga? Yeah, give him the faith of a one-on-one. -on -one. What we doing, bro? Omni-Man will, I'm, I'm sure Omni-Man will mix that nigga. He already has one eye missing. Come on, bro. Omni-Man... What we doing, man? Squad, bro. Goofy? One on. Nah, I'm just all talk. Even if they fall one on one, Omni Man is still probably gonna get his ass beat. It's Nolan Grayson versus General Krieg. You know how strong you gotta be to be the general it. of a race that's known for murking each other just it. to remove the weak? Yeah, he most definitely earned that title. So he was walking to a cell when he ran into Allen. How are they gonna get out of here? No clue. But I'm enjoying this new Omni-Man arc. The Omni-Man that realizes he was a... He was a dickhead. The funny part Somebody was, bro, was like, second. damn, I think I missed my wife. And yeah, I can't blame him. Bro fumbled a heavy bag. Bro went from a 10 out of 10 to an insect. You can miss her all you want, <laughs> but I doubt she's taking your ass back. But last episode, you know, Mark got that oh, phone call, couldn't waste right any time. He pulled up and bro immediately said, if you think you can speed but before I break her neck, then go ahead and try. And just for a little extra precaution, he EMP'd his shit. Then Mega Mom was going through his J. I'm going to keep it tall, though. I for surely believe that he was faster than, um, I never, I didn't understand that part when the homie said that, um, cause even in the show he said, am I quick enough to break her neck before you can get to me? I don't know, but do you want to test it? I don't think, because homie got super strength too, the nigga with the, you know, I, I don't think he got super speed. Why the hell would he be able to break her neck before Mark got there? That don't even make that even makes sense to me. I was like, I, I might I might would take that gamble, bro. You, it shows here later on that Mark is clearly faster than him. Like there's different things he does with. He can't even. I I don't want to ruin it for y'all, but like why why nigga just just grab, no nigga you you see how fast these niggas are? I ain't never seen that nigga move that fast. Extra precaution, he EMP'd his shit. Then Mega Mom was going through his Jamie Foxx electro phase by the crash out because Mark didn't know his name. Now, I don't know if that big ass head gave him foresight or some shit because I never seen Mark with these effects before. I thought this was about to be a Hall of Fame speed blitz, but he actually got the portal off, brought him to a dimension with intelligent dinosaurs. Then he gets brought back and sees this man toss a fucking baby but Debbie came through with an excellent catch. Uh, and this man is doing this for shits and giggles. Look how he's smirking. Mark once again tried to speed bus, but that portal kind of OP. And you lucky Mark wasn't here to see your dumb ass fall because you would have lost all levels of intimidation. But this man- I ain't gonna lie to Mark kind of stupid because you might even say, well, see, he faster because he's able to put him in a portal. No, it's because Mark is traveling in a straight line both times. So it don't matter how fast you are. I just know in order to hit me, your stupid ass gonna probably try to hit me dead in my face. So I just keep a portal in front of me. You're gonna go in. But if Mark was smart, he'd come like he about to hit him. And right before he click him, ah, stutter step, euro step, ah, go to the side, click him. You know what I mean? Or 
I come around from behind. Like, what? why is he always straight on attacks? Mark, another version of Mark stay, stay getting mixed, bro. All levels of intimidation. But this man really got teleported to a dimension with Spider-Man. That suit is hot booty garbage, but hey, Super it's still Spider-Man. <laughs> but now I'm 100% sure this is a mismatch. Cause every time Mark trying to squabble, he go, nah, uh, uh, I don't think you want to risk that. So that's what Mark was like, all right, bro, not gonna lie, you playing like a bitch right now. My fault for not remembering you, but I know you not a killer. You tried to save me that one night. He sent him through another portal, but immediately started going through a midlife crisis. They gave us a whole compilation of the foul shit the other Marks did. Foul. Not gonna lie, this one right here for sure did the worst thing. Murk that man child right in front of him, but hear me out. That's the swaggiest version of Mark we've seen. He rocking the black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. There's something about those goggles that I hate. There's just something about the... That's the one thing about Invincible. I, I like the show. To me, it's the greatest superhero content, period, um, out right now. But I think there is nobody that has a drippy fit. Like, their superhero costumes be real... How do I explain? Like, generic, real, like, wish versions of other superheroes. And I get that's, like, kind of what they're going for. But, like, y'all got to start... Y'all got to get, uh, what's homie, uh, shorty from the Invincibles? At, uh, uh, no caps! Madame or whatever her, y'all need to get her to start getting some fits off, because Omni-Man's suit look, always looks stupid to me. Uh, Invincible's main one, the yellow, garbage. These goggles is not it, bro. This is not wavy. That is not, them bug-eyed goggles, bro, that's not the fit for me. Like, Adam Eve looked like she just went, like, put her shit together. And they're like, Rex kind of drippy. Rex, Rex a little bit with the pop collar, kind of a little bit. Immortals is garbage. Uh, it, it just be the color scheme sometimes. And, like, the, I don't know, the I, the O, and the, I don't know. Look, at, even when they read this Spider-Man, that they made that nigga super unswaggy. Nigga, like... Oh, nigga, I know you can't make the actual Spider-Man outfit, but you can make some swaggy shit. Rocking the black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black so and far. yellow. Come on, bro, that shit too tough. But the craziest thing I seen in this episode was when Mark came through the portal with a Fortnite sniper and smacked the shit out of bro. Now, Mark's biggest mistake was not dragging him out the crib off rip because he immediately hit him with another, nah, uh uh pulled out the knife and set up the most perfect bait. Now, while hard. this man was yapping, Debbie snuck him with a plant pot. Then she picked up a random piece and sliced him crazy. You sure she don't got powers? Because she did that with no form while holding a baby. Then he started talking about some, oh, you think Think you're innocent in every other dimension you join them and that be hitting with the nigga please you just mad because in this dimension he turned out good and you're the one who's bad <laughs> but he did not Let's take that down insult down. too kindly he turned this shit into a wwe table match uh, when this man grabbed her arm i promise you i didn't expect him to break that shit God when i damn. tell you i let out the most blood curdling <sighs> battle cry i was ready to get in there and start squabbling for it <laughs> if this big headed ass nigga murked her y'all wouldn't have seen this video in the next two months anyways they showed us like 10 different dimensions he's been through and this man even put up on batman himself and we ain't talking about that batman off wish we talking about the arkham knight now, I don't know who was strong enough to rip his entire shirt off, but he came up with a plan to just wait. This dude sticks his head through and got dealt with me and his jump scare. He saw what he did to his moms and just unlocked a new update. Finally took that boy at the crib. I was tired of seeing this man hold back. Now, I didn't expect this man to have the strength that he has, but the fact that Mark landed on both feet didn't fly into a single object I knew bro was ass. Not gonna lie though, he was most definitely whooping his ass through multiple dimensions. During this fight, I realized he got a little sauce to him. So these two to get the fuck on and started hitting him with a dimensional shattering right left. Oh, but he ain't gonna take that fall damage. Walked out that portal, gangster ain't gonna lie. Mm, he tried bad. choking him, but Mark remembered he's the main character. A simple left hook sent him flying across the map. And right here, he tapped into that inner Omni-Man. That boy started losing it. Stop threatening my family! He ain't give that man no time Mark for that portal. Awesome some timing, bro. Uh, and we've been waiting for two seasons, and nigga, he nigga damn near broke your mom's arm off. 
kind of go, nigga, if you don't get the mark, he almost, he was throwing your little, uh, your little baby brother, nigga, you supposed to turn up on this nigga, bro. I don't got no time to hear about no goddamn, I'm not struck, nigga, I'm out of here, mix this nigga, bro. He said, fuck all that, turn Get on my theme song, right hook, but I hope you don't think this combo dropping. Double there fist, and that man said he that done man. with the rules. He said he don't care about this yep. superhero shit no more. Yep. Let me show you Stupid. what my pops taught me. Dummy. Yeah. And the only thing I thought of when watching this was Kratos versus Zeus. Mark was just spamming circle. Yeah, and when he finally finished, he said, oh damn, I thought you were stronger. Now he's trying to convince himself that he needed to murk him, which he yeah. most definitely did. That man was a threat to the universe. But after beating him, I was like, okay, cool. Now what? how he about to get back home but luckily the future version of his universe came through to get him back home because they said without him it was bad but before going future eve confessed her feelings and was like go tell so your quiet. eve how you feel so then he went through visited his mom and she doing good they just got matching black eyes but mark is genuinely tweaking out right now he you know what i hated about this they tried to act like was he right or was he wrong for killing him He's absolutely right. I'm starting not to understand that whole, like, I, I see with the Batman shit, starting not to understand this heroes don't kill thing. Because, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the police, but are you telling me, like, what message are you pushing across? Because there's plenty of police that are heroes because they killed somebody. When they kill a mass shooter, when I saw a police officer... There's someone that had him in a hostage situation. That boy, no scope. Fuck! That, that nigga's a hero. Fuck you mean, bro? And that, you telling me a man who was down to kill a baby, kill your moms, you thought you thought it was going to just stop there? No, you got to off that nigga. I hate that whole, let's pretend this is Batman. Because even in Batman, um, when the Red Mask came back, and, and, and he, he talked to Batman. He was like, bro, your plan was stupid. Then he's like, I'm the reason. I died because of you, nigga. And you still out here. Here's the thing about Batman, bro. Is Batman really a hero? Let's talk about it. <clears throat> He's my favorite superhero, but let's keep it talk. If you refuse to kill Joker and you keep just throwing him in jail knowing he going to get out, how many people has Joker killed? You know Batman is responsible for that, right? Batman could have been stopped this nigga decades ago. He just chose not to because some weird moral that he has. But Joker will literally kill 15 people just to get Batman's attention. Man, off that nigga, bro. Off that nigga. Innocent people dying because you over here trying to be holier than thou. Off that nigga, bro. What are you talking about? You going to tell me soldiers ain't heroes? Let's stop that shit, bro. He's going speeds I never seen him hit before. They even yeah. gave my boy the classic Spider-Man scene. Yeah. Stalking your ex, but she turns around the exact moment you leave. Then nightfall hits when he chats with his mom. And pretty much Marcus quit in college. Because he does have a point. What does he need college for? The nigga is a superhero. Cecil just gonna have to give our boy a salary. Uh, but before the night was over, he met up with Eve. Man. He didn't say how he feels, but this ain't the time for that. I mean, not immortal, but he he's old. I mean, he's, he's gonna live to be... <laughs> probably a hundred thousand years old, thousands and thousands of years old. College, he will live to outlive society. He'll outlive probably the process of college. So what the hell is the point? <laughs> and even if that was the whole case, if he's gonna live to be nigga, he can go to college in a hundred years. College will still be there, and he'll probably still look like that. He can go in a hundred years. Like why does he have to go now when there's a threat? Of a goddamn Saiyan invasion, nigga. Like, no. Nigga. The last thing I'll be trying to do is have my kid go to college if I know he's going to live to be uh, 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 90,000 years old when there's an invasion possibly happening. Boy, if you don't go train, nigga, go to college when you're 1,000, nigga. It'll be there, maybe. And if it's not, then you didn't need it. To be honest, nothing at all was said in this conversation. I'm just here to say Eve is 10 times better than Amber. Already. But now, there was a bunch of random cutoffs like Monster Girl forgiving Rudy, 
this Laura Croft scene, which I don't know if they showed this before, because, bro, I don't remember. I'm don't just assuming whatever this is, we might got to fight soon. <laughs> but the only cutoff that had me verbally go, oh, shit, was when Immortal was taking his vacation and Kate was somehow still alive. I'm I not believing she. this at all. This dude got to be losing it. Because why would she pull up in this cold-ass weather wearing a skin-tight suit? Immortal was entering his old man phase. This nigga's washed. But yeah, bro, season two was fire. Shout out the voice actors, too. Not gonna lie, though. Steven, who plays Mark, and Sterling K. Brown, who plays Angstrom, they were most definitely my favorites this season. But hopefully, season three comes out soon. I'm thinking a cool 2025 release date. I'm gonna need this shit ASAP. Now we wait, bro. What a great show. Let me know what you felt about season two. What was your favorite part, favorite episode? I'll be in the comments.